Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elias Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today's Thursday, April 25th, 2024. Now let's go to Kalia for Today in History. Thank you, Alaya. Hey, Patriots. Today in History, on April 25th, 1950, Charles Henry Cooper was the first African-American drafted into the NBA. When the Boston Celtics chose him over 14 other players, they chose Cooper because he was the man of class, intelligence, and sensitivity who blazed a trail that wasn't easy. He was also a really good basketball player. Charles will always be remembered as one of the first African-American NBA players in history. Now let's go to Daniela for lunch. Thank you, Kalia. Today's lunch is cheeseburger, ham and cheese sandwich, tater tots, fresh baby carrots, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced pears, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is banana apple muffin trifle, honey nut Cheerios, string cheese, fresh orange, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep in mind the menu can change at any time, and don't forget to let your teachers know if you were receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, and let's go back to Alaya. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds scrumptious. Tomorrow, kindergarten will have their chance to go to the Patriot store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times and there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. And don't forget that you can only wear a school jacket or a sweater. Autism activities here. Sadly, this is the last activity, so let's make it count. Tomorrow, you all will be wearing mismatched socks. Let's be unique and wear some breathtaking patterns. I can't wait. Yesterday, 6th through 8th had their auditions for the spring show. Now, today, 3rd through 5th graders will have their chance today. Remember that you need to create a poem or monologue in addition to a 30-second dance. The auditions will be from 3.30 to 5 p.m. You've got this. Patriots, the most epic lip sync battle is back. Pines Cheerleaders presents Student versus Staff Lip Sync Battle Thursday, May 2nd, 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the Pines Cafeteria. Get your pre-sale tickets now for $5 or $7 at the door. Pre-sale with dinner package is only $12. You don't want to miss this epic battle. The end of the year is near, so what's better than buying yourself a yearbook for the price of $45? Today, 5th graders will take their NWA science, while 6th through 8th will have theirs from the 25th to the 26th. And our 1st through 2nd graders will continue their fluency test till next Monday. We wish you all good luck. Today is Take Your Child to Work Day. Did you stay in school or did you go to your parents' job? Our challenge is still on wage. K through second will have fun with pajamas and pancakes, while third through eighth will have fun games outside. The challenge may be due in May. Let's hustle, everyone. Now let's go to Hadassah for a sports segment. Thank you, Elia. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Tuesday, our boys baseball had a game against Slam Boca. Unfortunately, we lost the game eight to four. The players who performed the best are player 12, David, doubling as pitcher and catcher, clutch catches and plays by number four, Jock Sell, Number 10, Amari, and number 15, Smiley. Coach Shakamp is proud of all the baseball players and looks forward to the next season. Now let's go to Camilo for today's weather. Thank you, Hirasa. Fishy days, Patriots. Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. It's a good day to go fishing. Talking about fishing, in eastern China, a truck driver stopped on a waterlogged road, but it wasn't the water that stopped him. It was a giant fish. The driver used no rod and no reel, but used his bare hands and grabbed the fish out of the water. Rods and reels are the necessary tools you need to catch a fish if you go fishing in the lake or an ocean, but not on the road. Well, it seems like something fishy was going on. Now let's go to Catherine for today's Patriot on the Go. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Patriot on the Go. I'm Catherine Collins. Today's question is, if you opened a store, what would you sell? Hello, what's your name? Nicholas. 
Hi, Nicholas. If you opened a store, what would you sell? Strawberries. Why? Because I love them and I, eat, I almost eat them every day. I love strawberries. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Connor. Hi, Connor. If you opened a store, what would you sell? Bunnies. Why? Because everyone likes bunnies. I love bunnies, too. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Karen. Hi, Karen. If you opened a store, what would you sell? Broccoli. Why? Because it make, it's really healthy and makes you grow. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? Sophia. Hi, Sophia. If you opened a store, what would you sell? Uh, fruits. Why? Because I love them and I eat them every single day. Thank you. Me too. Hello, what's your name? Ava. Hi, Ava. If you had a store, what would you sell? Popsicles. Why? Because I like the way they freeze in your mouth. That's so cool. Thank you. Those are awesome responses, Patriots. See you next time on Patriot on the Go. Amazing responses, Patriots. Today's birthday boys and girls are Alani Canty, Mariangel Vega, Sakai Deuce, Romaine Hazel, and Enzo Ponciano. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Alaya. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots here, past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Arnold, Miss Merkel, and Miss Valdez for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what's our weight? The correct answer was, maths calculations will give the weight of the horse as 17 kilograms. Therefore, the weight of the sheep and frog are 10 kilograms, so the answer is 27 kilograms. Today's daily challenge is... Daily Challenge! A man who was outside in the rain without an umbrella or hat didn't get a single hair on his head wet. Why? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a tremendous Thursday. Have a great day.